so hello everyone welcome to this new session so in this video i'm going to provide you all some of the important uh, stuffs related to today's exam that is uh, coa for third sem bec 306c that is uh, computer organization and architecture okay some of the important concepts which you need to be going through before uh, writing this exam okay for uh, those who are having backlogs okay so please stay tuned i know this video has come a bit late but still uh, watch this video as a reference about what and all the concepts would be coming for exam and you should be learning okay from all the five modules okay so in this video i'm just going to provide you the stuff related to module uh, 1 2 and 3 and module 4 and 5 what you should be doing is you should be referring our uh, model paper solutions which we have uh, created in our channel okay it is available in our channel so please go through our uh, channel page and uh, check for that video separately for model paper 1 as well as model paper 2 we have solved it okay from that what and all are the questions related to module 4 and 5 please refer those questions because those are fixed questions because uh, we don't have any other questions from those modules okay so that's why there are no chances that we would be getting any other question from that so please do, do refer those videos okay yeah those two videos are very important okay it would be appearing in the top right of your screen as video tag we are we are giving it to you all so please uh, go through it okay okay so from module one one fixed question that is you should be learning that is you also might be knowing it that is the explain explaining the functional unit of a computer right in this what you should be doing you should be right uh, drawing the block for memory block uh, code block and C, uh, cpu alu okay input input uh, input device output device and you should be explaining all of them in uh, brief okay this one question is fixed that is uh, uh, you should be explaining the functional unit of a computer okay so please uh, do go through this question and also you can see in the model paper as well this question is multiple times repeated okay so please go through this question okay so from module 2 one question related to addressing modes would be asked that is a sure question okay to explain any five of uh, the addressing modes so here we have only three addressing modes the stuff that addressing mode it is available in the model paper solutions that video you can see it and you can refer it okay it is available in a channel page do visit our channel page and check it out okay one question related to addressing modes would be fixed asked okay after that one question would be related to the shift and rotate instructions okay shift instruction shift instruction is divided into two times logical shift and shifting and uh, arithmetic shifting in place of logical shifting we are having logical shift left logical shift right arithmetic op shift operation we are having arithmetic shift left and arithmetic shift right okay so these are the explanations for logical shift left it is a, given the command as l shift l hash two means uh, two two positions you should be shifting on binary number and this is the process for that please pause the video and refer it and for logical shift right as well same thing okay the command is l shift r okay uh, again for uh, this is a command here where the one one by one the bits would be shifting with respect to the carry flag okay yeah into the right hand side similarly arithmetic shift right here the msb sign bit repeats at every shift okay in this case the whatever the msb sign shares, uh, bit is there right? it would be repeating at every shift okay for example the number won't be changed that number would be remaining as this for example see here the msb sign bit is one so if you shift it to right hand side that that one would be repeating uh, to the next positions as well okay so this is all about uh, arithmetic shift right and arithmetic shift left is same as logical shift left you don't have any changes okay whatever is the logical shift left that is only the arithmetic shift left so please uh, make a note of this question this is a very important question related to shift instructions okay please note it up one more question related to little indian and big indian that is uh, me memory locations and addresses Consider the example A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is equal to this binary number, okay? In this case, what we should doing, you should try to represent in the form of big Indian and little Indian, okay? In this uh, addressing, uh, addresses locations, you should be writing it outside and one by one, the uh, MSB and LSB bit would be separated using this big Indian and little Indian, okay? This, it's, ex this, it's brief explanation is uh, available in our model paper solution. Okay, so please refer those videos. This one question related to big Indian and little Indian would be fixed asked. Okay, yeah. One more question related to the 
accessing characters numbers or character string okay these are the points that is for number they occupy one word it can be accessed by specifying word address individual characters can be accessed by specifying byte address character string but of difference that can be accessed in two ways one is special character this is called as end of string second is a separate word location contains of the length of string okay one more question related to kinds of different kinds of memory operations okay this is very important okay one is load operation Another one is store operation. Its explanation. Pause the video and refer it. And basic instruction types. Okay, we have basic instruction type that is one is three address instruction. That is it adds three operands. For example, if we give the instruction add a comma b comma c, this is the source and this is the destination. Okay, then two address instruction it adds two operands. One address instruction it adds single operands. Okay, these are the basic instruction types. Then in case of subtraction. to subtract two numbers x and y which means to perform x minus y from the two's complement of y then need to be added to x okay so in this case for subtraction what you should be doing you should be using the concept of two's complement okay two's complement of y then the add it to the variable x okay for example also i have solved few problems that is subtraction of minus 3 minus 7 okay write its binary form then take its two's complement by taking the second numbers one's complement and add one to it whatever the result we get we should be adding it to Minus three binary number. Okay, then whatever the result stored in four bit. Okay, that is the resultant value. Okay, for example, you can see this is plus four. Okay. Similarly, for subtraction of two minus four, some of the examples are there. You can pause the video and refer it. Different kinds of examples. Okay. Then one more concept is related to overflow in integer arithmetic. Okay, what is this overflow? When the result of arithmetic operation is outside the given range. Overflow occurs when both operands have same sign, but the result has different sign. Okay, for example, adding two numbers with same signs, that is, five plus six. Five plus six. If we do, the answer we are getting is minus five. Okay, yeah. The next is uh, characters. Computers must be able to handle non-numeric text information consisting of characters. Characters can be alphabet, digit, special characters, etc. Okay, these are these are all about characters. and this is very very important okay this topic related to basic performance equation okay one question related to basic performance equation would be asked and related to that we are having functions of software that is receiving and interpreting user commands entering and editing application and programs with the help of storage devices see that these are the definitions of programmer compiler a programmer using a high level language Uh, need not know the details of program executed whatever the programmer is doing using a high level long language the execution which is executed by the program programmer need not be knowing that it should not be knowing that the programmer would be knowing that at all okay next is compiler it is basically a translator which converts the high level language to a machine level language okay this is the basic definition of con compiler that is it converts a high level language to a machine level language or an object code okay performance Suppose that average of uh, number of steps needed to execute in one cycle is s. It is represented as s. Let r be the clock rate and t be the time period. That is, program execution time for basic performance equation is given as t is equal to n into s by r. And this is this equation is called as basic performance equation. Okay, so we should keep this in mind. This is very important question. One question related to this would be asked. Okay, so please note it down. and from module 3 we have the concepts of interrupts okay one question is fixed related to the difference between subroutine and isr that is interrupt service routine and subroutine this one question is fixed okay it is multiple times repeated and this you should be asking so asking what is subroutine that is it performs a functions required by the program for which it is called isr won't have anything in common with the program being executed at the time the interrupt request is received okay it won't be having any common thing with Until it, until and unless it would be asking for an interrupt request. Okay, yeah. Before starting the ISR execution, any information showed during the execution must be saved. Okay, before the execution of interrupt service routine, any information shown during the time of execution must be saved first. Okay, then only it would be asking for an request. The next point is before starting ISR execution, uh, information is restored before interrupt program is resumed. Another difference is that. an interrupt is a mechanism for coordinating input output transfer whereas subroutines are the linkage of two or more functions okay yeah this is one main difference between subroutine and isr 
so one question again related fixed is related to interrupt hardware okay where you should be conducting a processor interrupt request interrupt routine then you should be converting the like this different blocks in series with the resistance and uh, source voltage okay like this you should be representing this and for that explanation is there an input output device requests are interrupted by activating the bus line called interrupt request okay INTR it is called as interrupt request and it is connected through one bus line all devices are connected to IR line this IR line or bus line via switches to ground okay yeah then to request an interrupt a device closes its associated to a switch but if all switches are open the voltage on IR line would be equal to VDD okay whenever the switches are open the voltage on the IR line would be equal to VD okay then when a device requests an interrupt by closing its switch the voltage drops to zero causing the INTR received by processor to go to one and this is the way you should be representing the equation okay where this R is called as the pull up resistor because it pulls the line voltage up to the high voltage state when the switches are open like for that thing it's called as a pull up resistor okay then sequence of events involved in handling an interrupt request to for from a single device okay like these are the sequence of events pause the video and refer it okay and one question related to vectored interrupts and non vectored interrupts would be fixed asked from this module so please refer it okay and also from module 4 and 5 as i have told you right we should be referring our model paper solution because some of the questions are fixed from there i have explained it so please go through that video okay it might be available in the uh, description as well so please go through that video and also uh, please uh, do write the exam in a neat manner okay so sorry for providing the video this late but yet we are we were not having we were having going with the busy schedule that's why so please guys uh, uh, write the exam very well all the best to you all thank you